This week, Turn 10 found itself in a hotbed of controversy after they released this statement on the official Forza support on Twitter. Our goal is to create a safe, secure, inclusive, and enjoyable experience for all players. Moving forward, the use of the Confederate flag on any car and under any circumstances will be categorized as notorious iconography in our enforcement guidelines and its use will result in a ban. Now before we get into this, I'm going to make one thing very clear. I am not here to debate whether the Confederate flag is right or wrong. It's not that kind of channel. I've been a part of Forza's wonderful community for 10 years now, and I can tell you that in the forums, Facebook groups, and online, any type of racism is met by moderators and players with strong disdain, resulting sometimes in lifetime bans. There is no place for it in either the Forza community nor the real-life car scene. So understand that the outrage from the Forza community is not rooted in racism but it's over being able to create and play in two iconic TV and movie cars that bear the flag. I'm of course talking about the Smokey and the Bandit Trans Am and the Dukes of Hazzard's General Lee. Smokey and the Bandit was a 1977 Pontiac Trans Am named Trigger, and the front plate was the then flag for the state of Georgia, which did contain the Confederate flag. The official flag of Georgia was changed in 2003 to lose the Confederate symbol. The Dukes of Hazzard was a TV show that aired from 1979 to 1985, and the biggest star to come out of that show was the 69 Dodge Charger that made fantastic jumps and stunts, the biggest reason that everyone sat down to watch the show. Of course, blazing across the flat surface of the roof was the Confederate flag along with the car's name, General Lee, a prominent general for the South during the Civil War. 20 years later in 2005, the Dukes of Hazard hit the big screen with a feature movie from Broken Lizard, the gang that also brought you Super Troopers. Over the course of those 20 years, the political landscape had changed as more and more controversy over the flag brewed. Upset Forza players are quick to point out that the original TV show didn't harbor any racism. As a matter of fact, they had many African American actors guest star over the run of the show and even had a black sheriff in a recurring role who was strong, competent, likable, and a much better sheriff than Roscoe. John Schneider, who played Bo Duke, has said this over the flag's controversial presence on the car. Car from Uncle Denver's show is now considered the universal sign of intolerance and racism. Symbols don't hurt people, people hurt people. I didn't see that coming. Like many cars in Forza, the cost of a 69 Dodge Charger can be astronomical, making owning one in real life only for the few who can afford it. Hence, why it is so popular in game, and why Forza players on the whole just are not happy. On the other side of the coin, we have Turn 10, not only the creators of our beloved Forza franchise, but also an employer for over 200 people. Turn 10, well, it's a business, and like all businesses today, are dependent on staying politically correct in today's social climate to ensure their survival. Right now, media outlets and editors are looking for anything that they can spin into a story about racism. Can you imagine a trash news outlet like BuzzFeed that caught wind of the Confederate flag being allowed to be created in Forza and then running a story on it? In today's political climate, it would spell horrible news not only for Turn 10 survival, but for Forza as well. Meaning that if it were to create enough of a negative backlash, Turn 10 would close the doors and we wouldn't have any more Forza games. In a defiant response to all this, however, many players have posted up General Lee and Bandit Trans Am pictures to social media complaining about censorship. However, the ESRB rating on all forces is E for everybody, 
So just like you wouldn't hear a cuss word in a children's movie, you're not going to see anything practically or excuse me, potentially offensive in a game that a child might be playing. Furthermore, as a race marshal and having contact with Turn 10 developers on a regular basis, I can tell you they will be taking the creation and use of the Confederate flag equally as serious as other racist, homophobic, and hate symbols or phrases. Make no bones about it, you will get banned. So I urge you, please don't do it. It's just not worth it. And in an effort to lead by example, this is me deleting my favorite General Lee livery that I got off the storefront. I urge you all to do the same. Let me be clear one more time. We are not here to discuss the politics behind the flag. I am here to give you a look at both the Forza players and Turn 10's perspective on this, and I'm leaving it up to you guys to decide. Tell me in the comments below what you guys think of Turn 10 banning the flag. I want to know what you guys think. However, keep it respectful. Anything with hate in the comments will be deleted immediately. As always, thank you so much for watching. All the links to the cruiser's social media is in the description down below and at the end of today's video. Remember, stay safe in the times that we are going through, my friends. And remember, those friends, well, they're the family you get to choose. I'll see you next week, fellow cruisers.